CBS this morning. Wow. It's incredible that someone had a video camera rolling. I was wondering how they had a camera, and it doesn't matter how good a driver you are, there's no reaction you could do right. to get out of that. But they're both okay. High blood pressure or hypertension is among the deadliest conditions for black men. A new study finds many men who are at risk don't even know that they have it. Bill Whitaker shows us why researchers may have found a solution in a most unlikely place. Oh, man, here come another fake Clipper fan. <laughs> at Wally's Barbershop outside Los Angeles, they talk sports, women, and now health. I tell people, if you go take a walk before you take a drive, you live a whole lot longer. For the past two years, barber yeah, Wally Riddle has offered a shave and a haircut and a blood pressure test. Just relax. Okay. And for most of the customers who've agreed to the test, this arm cuff has been a change agent. Yeah, you can cheat. Well, I've been on top of my vegetable. The blood pressures have come down tremendously. On average, we've had about almost 90% um, follow-up. That's really remarkable. Dr. Ronald Victor of Cedar sinai Hospital taught Riddle how to take the readings, evaluate them, and make referrals to doctors. He says the program's secret is that it reaches a population that rarely goes in for checkups. The average man with high blood pressure in this barber shop comes every two, four, or six weeks to get their hair cut. And I, I think I'm a pretty nice doctor, but I've never had that much uh, patronage in my in my practice. What was the reaction when uh, people came in here and they were offering to take their blood pressure? Well, they, they kind of clowned me. They said, what are, you, what are you turning this into a doctor's office or what? <laughs> you know, but hey, I said, this, hey, this is for you. <laughs> An estimated 40% of African Americans have high blood pressure. Black men are three times as likely as white men to die from it with a heart attack or stroke. 42-year-old Derek Cobb's first blood pressure reading was a shock to his system. I had blood pressure so high that the girl that took it, she thought the machine was broke. <laughs> so what'd you do? Changed my life. You change your eating habits, you change stress levels. Um, no offense, ladies, but you gotta calm that down, too. So you say this saved your life? I would say Yes, yes. It, it made me aware of life. Why is high blood pressure such a, a scourge for African-American men? Uh, family history, genetics seems to play some role. Environmental factors seem to play a huge role. It's called the silent killer. Yeah, because it's called the silent killer for a long time because high blood pressure by itself doesn't hurt. And it, it silently damages the the internal organs for years, sometimes decades, until someone shows up in the emergency room with a heart attack. So um, it's complicated, and I, w I wish we had a magic bullet. Um, in the meantime, we've got the barbershop. This isn't the first time barbers have practiced medicine. In the Middle Ages, barber surgeons cared for soldiers in battle. But while that role would fade, Dr. Victor says this one will grow. He already estimates there's some form of barbershop checkup going on in every state. The idea is to have this um, adopted by the healthcare system so that it can be sustained and scaled across the country. That's the real goal, is to, is to really have a, an army of barbers. Your friendly barber could be the key, not just to looking good, but living longer, too. For CBS This Morning, I'm Bill Whitaker in Altadena, California. Such a great idea because I know the Black Barber Shop is such a gathering area for men. It's really great. You know, my father may surprise you, he was a black man. And ultimately, <laughs> hypertension took his life. And that's why I think you've got to get this out to let people know you've got to get help. This is a simple change in public health that can change yes. people's lives. Go to yeah. where the people are. Great yeah. idea. All right, coming up, if something tragic happens to your spouse, would you know how to gather your family's financial records and passwords? We'll show you how to do it next. CBS Health Watch, sponsored by Lean Cuisine. Be culinary chic.